Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're also going to go over all of the daily challenges and uh, we're apparently going to get shot in the back of the head by this idiot, by him calling us an idiot. Wow. And we're also going to go over Madman Nazar's location. But anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. I also know, looking at my statistics here on YouTube, that 85% oh, of you guys aren't currently subscribed to my channel that watch my videos each and every single day. What are, what are you guys waiting for? Come on, just click it, and then make sure you share these videos with everyone that you know and everywhere that you possibly can. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with the collection sets and their current cycles. So the fossils will be a part of cycle number six. The loss of jewelry will be a part of cycle number one. The family heirlooms at cycle number four. The coins at cycle number two. And then the arrowheads also at cycle number two. Now the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, because this is the best way of actually earning money here in Red Dead Online. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of it. Yes, I know that they've recently nerfed it with the naturalist roll back a few months ago, but it, it still is technically still the best opportunity of making money. So get these four sets if you don't already have that collection site. Uh, collection bag so american wildflowers are going to be a part of cycle number three which is going to be three sets every single day american uh air antique alcohol bottles so we got cycle number six bird eggs cycle number six and then the tarot cards are going to be a part of cycle number two for today all right let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges let's go ahead and uh read them off first and then we're going to go over them in detail so we got three items sold to a fence one jump from another horse onto a moving or a, from a horse to a moving train three large mouth bass caught one panthers killed place top three in a race three player kills with a pistol in showdown and then five per poppies picked the bounty hunter roll we got two bounties brought in from lemoyne posters two bounties completed with uh within one real world hour and then we got three more than one bounty target brought in at once the trader roll we got 15,838 distance delivery wagon traveled while on a mission two goods sold to a distant buyer seven medium animal carcasses donated to crips the collector roll we got one antique alcohol bottle drunk drank whatever and we got three collectibles found with a shovel and then three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar. The Moonshiner roll. One drank strong un, uh, own strong Moonshine. Don't play Uno. Um, and then we got two Moonshine bar drunken player interactions. Two times with the band for two minutes. And then last but not least, we got the Naturalist roll. Three Forest River animal samples taken. Two sedated animals revived. And then three wetland animal samples taken. All right, let's go ahead and break these down for you guys in detail. Uh, three items sold to a fence. There's... Obviously, a couple different fence locations. One's actually going to be right here in um, Emerald Station. You can find one in Van Horn. You've got one down in Saint Denis. You've got one over in Thieves Landing. There's a couple different ones that you guys can go to. Just sell whatever items that you want to them, as long as they accept those items anyway. One jump from a horse to a moving train. All you have to ultimately do is sit really close to any one of the stops which is pretty close to almost all the fast travel destinations. And then just go ahead and just kind of wait for a train to come by. Eventually one will come by and then don't go to do it. Otherwise McFarland's ranch is a really good opportunity to just jump onto a train just right off the bat there. Um, because there's almost always a train going from East to West large mouth bass caught. I'm going to show you guys a couple different spots that you guys can go to. I, if I'm going after large mouth bass, typically I go in this area, like right in here. Otherwise, if you actually make your way down to Blackwater and come down to Stillwater Creek area, right in this general area, you guys can find steelhead trout and also large mouth bass in here. And you just have to use the special uh, lures. So the, like the special river lure in order to collect them and it works great down here and then that we don't have to worry about losing it. But this is a really good opportunity. So I gave you guys two of my go to locations for those and there's actually a fence down in that area anyway. So if you're going to go to a fence and then sell three, you might as well go ahead and gra grab your bass then real quick as well. Uh, one panther is killed. Uh, there's actually a panther down in that area as well. I'm going to show you guys my go to location for a panther is actually going to be right in here. Uh, just south of Brightthwaite Manor. Uh, fast travel destination will be Rhodes. And then if we actually go ahead and go out to the west, 
Stillwater Creek. You can actually find a panther usually hanging out right in this area as well. So large amount of bass, fence, panther. Easy peasy down at these landing today. At least you can get three of them out of the way if you want to. Place top three in a race. You just have to place in the top three. Makes sense. Just keep doing it until you do that. Uh, three player kills with a pistol. Uh, you can use the Mauser, semi-automatic, whatever works, volcanic, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get three player kills. And then Prairie Poppy's pick. Now, this is going to be kind of down in the Thieves' Landing area. We are going to go ahead and go out just outside of Blackwater is where we're going to go. So if you guys fast travel to Blackwater to go there anyway, this is where you guys are going to want to go. Uh, these are going to be rough areas of where you guys can find them. They should be relatively close to these locations, but they sometimes aren't always. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I try to get as close as I possibly can for you guys if I can. Uh, I think it's there's like two like right around in this area somewhere. So there you go. So just look around in that area. You'll be able to find them. There's a ton of them all around the Great Plains area. All right, moving on to the Bounty Hunter roll. We got two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. So you're looking at Rhodes or Saint Denis. Two bounties completed within one real world hour. So basically do them as fast as you possibly can. And then three, more than one bounty target brought in at once. The best way to do this is actually with the friend that has the exact same daily challenge as you. And then that way you guys can just help each other out and get this one completed. That's the easiest. Otherwise, you can use your bounty wagon. That is another opportunity. But typically, you do have to kill one of your targets because other one, the, otherwise the other one will try to escape pretty quickly. So just keep that in mind. But whatever way will work for you. You can always drag a dead one back without even a bounty wagon. So if you don't even own a bounty wagon, if you don't really have anybody to play with, then you can drag your dead carcass back with your lasso and then put the live one on the back of your horse. It's always an option. The trader roll, we got 15,830 delivery wagon traveled on a mission. That's going to be equivalent to roughly two distant deliveries. You do have to sell goods to distant delivery anyway or a buyer. So just keep that in mind. So these two might be able to get done today at the exact same time. And then we got seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crips. It's going to be anything on the sides of the horse. So geese, ducks, rabbits, raccoons, things like that. The collector roll, one antique alcohol bottle drunk. Just don't pull up your inventory. This one's probably the easiest of all of them today. And then just drink whatever is in your current catalog. Otherwise, antique alcohol bottles, again, will be a part of cycle number six. Seven, uh, seven. three collectibles found with a shovel, coins, uh, arrowheads, things like that are typically the better ones or even fossils will be the best opportunity. And then you have to sell three items, collectibles right to Madame Nazar. Now, you have to... Physically go to her location today, and her location, you probably saw a little bit earlier in the video, but you can find her just south of Rhodes at Bulger Glade right here. Um, Rhodes will be your fast travel destination, but over here, all of your buying and selling of collectibles through Madame Nazar, this is her location for today. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is going to be the Moonshine Roll. We got Drank, Own Strong, Moonshine. So as long as you have started a strong Moonshine batch of whatever flavor you want, then just go ahead and drink it. That's all that you have to do. Pretty easy, as long as you don't sell it first. Just, I mean, you can always ride back and start a new batch and then do it that way if you want. And then we got two Moonshine Bar, Drunken Player Interactions. You will just have, to, you all have to do this with another player. I know that people say that you can do it by yourself. I've never been able to do it by myself, but some people say you can. So basically, you both get drunk at the bar. Doesn't matter what Moonshine Shack you guys are at, and then just go in and slap each other silly. Then you got to play with the band two times for two minutes, so it's a total of four minutes. And once you start playing with the band, you can actually walk away, grab yourself a snack or something to drink, whatever, come back, and it's probably done. The Naturalist Roll, we got three Forest River Animal Samples taken. So whatever is the easiest inside of that category, that's what you want to be able to focus on. It could be the three of the exact same thing. And then of those animals that you have sedated and taken the, the samples of, you're going to revive them. I like to purchase them through Harriet directly just because I feel like a lot of the pamphlets are just way too expensive through Harriet. That's my personal opinion. I'm always going to say that. I have never purchased them and I have a lot of money and I just think they're absolutely ridiculous because I never use them. Because why would I spend $500 on each of the pamphlets roughly and use them once or maybe twice? I, heck, I don't even hardly do this one anymore just because... I really don't even care about the gold because there's so many other opportunities that I have besides spending real money, not real money, but in-game money to get gold money. And then we got three wetland animal samples, whatever's the easiest in that category. Typically, it's a small or large alligator, but anyway, either one will actually work. But that is everything done, gone over, and covered. We went over Madame Nazar's location. We went over all the collection sets on their current cycles, and we went over all of the daily challenges. But if that does help you guys out, then make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. 
It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.